This is what the final laminate looks like. Here's a flow chart of how to design it. Isolate and duplicate the teeth from the model and prepare to message as a result. One is offset to provide the thickness of the laminate. The other will block out in the direction of insertion to subtract from the offset mesh. Let's go through them one by one. Launch the Medit Design app. Select the upper and lower jaw model. Use Edit Mode. Let's separate the tooth from the model. Run the Duplicate function. Select tooth number 12 using the Smart Single Tooth Selection feature. Switch to a brush to retouch around the margin. Once you've finalized your tooth selection, click Finish to duplicate the tooth. Press Done one more time to create another identical mesh. As a result, you will have two replica meshes. Fill the hole in one of the two duplicated teeth. You can use the fill hole function. Depending on the shape of the hole, there could be an error. If you get an error, you can use the bridge function to reshape the hole to make it work. If it doesn't work the first time, you can do it one more time like this to fill in the holes. Create a shell that gives the laminate thickness to the teeth we filled the hole with a moment ago. Prepare the outer surface of the laminate by giving the hole filled mesh an offset of 0.1 mm. Let's call this mesh A. Use the sculpting function to fill in the gaps with neighboring teeth and refine the shape of the laminate. Select the sculpting feature. The mesh to be referred is wrapped to prevent deformation. Use the add or bolting function to fill in the spacing and modify the appearance of the laminate. Block out the single remaining mesh in the direction of the insertion. Select the block out feature. Select the second duplicated mesh. Modify the insertion direction to account for the laminate insertion direction. Press done to generate the mesh. Select the sculpting feature. Smooth out Sharp edge with the smoothing feature. To add a cement gap, we use the offset function. Select the mesh you blocked out and give it a 0.03 mm offset. Let's call this mesh B. Subtract the scan file and the mesh B from the mesh A and you have the inside of the laminate. Select the boolean function. In difference mode, put the mesh A on the left and the scan file and mesh B on the right and click run it. If there is debris, use the delete function to clear it. Let's analyze the result of our design. Take a cross section and measure the distance between the sections. Right click to bring up a pop up menu and select Show This Only, which will leave a cross section 
and make others invisible. You find that the semen gap is 0.03 and the laminate thickness is 0.07. This is what the finalized laminate looks like. Thank you.